guys, since Star Cinema 1998, um, I'm going to tell you about um, a film I saw a couple of days ago, Hostel 3. Uh, I told you I was going to watch it, and I didn't make another video to tell you what my thoughts were. Uh, my thoughts, um, um, it was not a good film. From beginning to end, I hated it. Um, the ending was horrible. Um, I probably could have understood the film if the ending was good and it was not. It just let me down. It's a quick ending. Like, they just said, oh my god, we need an ending, we need an ending, what can we do? And bam, they thought of that while in their lunch break or something. You know, it was, it, it was just something they had to do or something. They, if I like that. Um <coughs> you could totally tell Eli Roth did not have anything to do with this. Um he didn't direct it, I know that. Um I don't even think he wrote it, um, either. Um, so you could totally tell. Um, it does not have the vibe of the first two. They try to do something different by taking it not across the country but to Vegas um, and it just it just felt not like the first two um, they got some mediocre actors but one of the guys who played like a manager for the elite club member Um, for the elite club members, um, he's like the commander or something, so he has to be at the top, but he's like a skinny, top, tall, tall, nerdy guy, like he should be a computer technician or something, um, but he's like, he's cocky, like he talks sarcastic, like he thinks he's it, and he just got annoying. Um, again with, um, the ending, because the ending is implausible, seriously, like, there's no way, like, um, the, the good guy could have survived, um, I don't know to what, like, how it, but he survived, and something happens at the end, that you know, like, what, seriously, um, but, um, the killings, the death, whatever you want to call them, um, they weren't good. They weren't good guys. Um, you're not gonna get, like I said, you're not gonna get an Eli Roth hostile death scenes, like the gore and guts and blood and you're not gonna get that. Um, the death were mediocre as well. Um, they could have been a lot better, a lot better. They were just toned down, um, it, they were quick deaths, they were, especially the second death was real quick, even the first one was real quick, like, they, they, you know, like, all the deaths were quick, um, they weren't that creative though, um, but yeah, they weren't creative at all with the deaths, they could have made it different but no um the deaths were just mediocre guys um you're not gonna like this film I guarantee you you're not gonna like it um if you're a huge fan of the other two like I am you're not gonna like this film um if you're a fan of Eli Roth you're not gonna like this film still so not a part of it you can tell um you're just not gonna like it guys seriously it's not a good film. Um, the acting's horrible. Um, the plot was horrible. Um, the ending is implausible. Like I said, it's impossible that this man could survive. Why did he survive? Well, I'm not going to tell you what happened, but she, she can't survive what he survived. Um, and then at the end, the wife is okay with 
then you can do something to my life. I'm not going to tell you what, but, um, it's like really good not gonna like squirm or anything. She was just like looking at her husband doing something to this guy and was okay with it. And it just, it, it, I don't know. You don't watch this film. You can regret it if you do. But if you must, don't buy it. Rent it at Redbox. They have it there. And you'll find out for yourself how horrible this film is. So this is Sinister Cinema, and no. See you next time.